Well, we got dark, cloudy skies. It rained a little bit earlier. Warmed up like crazy over the, few, the last few days. And just give me an update on the power room. We got closet doors. It's awfully warm in this room now. Got the heater on, heating it. And we got locks. Now no kids can get in here. We were very conscious before, but now at least no like no little kids are gonna get in here. And then we got the system. I am on grid because we've had uh, rain and cloud for the last few days. And we were running off grid and then I depleted the batteries. Didn't want to go too much lower than 56, 57 volts if I can help it. Uh, everything's working good. Let's go to the other side. We'll close this door. It's, this, the, these doors came as a kit actually. The trim was installed on the, the frame of the door. All I had to do was nail the trim and spot it was kind of nice little kit it wasn't even that much money let's see this is what we've made today 1.8 kilowatts and 1.2 kilowatts we've made three kilowatts today oh you saw because that's like nothing uh reliable still working good i'm getting a new one of these soon Re reliable electric is sending me i paid uh for shipping uh, plus a little bit, but they're sending me one for review. It's their new 8,000 watt. They're saying it's even better than their old one. Um, so I'm excited to do that review. Uh, 10,000 watt transformer is doing really good, even though the case was bent to crap when I got it. It still works good. Not using them right now. I am, like I said, on grid, so I'm not using anything. I'm not using the uh, Magnus IND there. They're in standby. And uh, everything's just working great. Batteries are working good. Still got to hook up these, these Ford batteries. Getting around to it. Like I said, I don't have a need for it yet. Because once I start getting a lot more sun, I'm going to really start hooking batteries up. Because uh, I'm actually going to be able to store the energy. Right now, I can't really store the energy. I only have this one hooked up. I'm going to hook up. So I got another about 15... No, more than that, about 16, 17 kilowatts to hook up because those four over there are quite big. I got extra backup batteries to replace those if they go. I don't have any backups here. I don't have any backup of the Hyundai batteries anymore because I sold them all to Frank Z. Um, here, this is the eSmart 2 that broke on me just from hooking up a wire properly, hooking it up properly, and it still broke. I decided. It was unfair to give them a completely bad review. It was the person I bought it from was not the manufacturer, so I was blaming the manufacturer when it was just a reseller, a little guy on eBay. So I bought from another seller. I bought the 40 amp version, and I'm going to try that. And, and, and this time I'll have warranty. Like this one I bought and didn't use for months and months and months. So I had no warranty on that. The new one I got is twice the size or twice the amperage. And uh, we're going to give that a try and see if I like it. Because uh, I know these, these Chinese products can be a little bit finicky sometimes. But if you hook it up the first time and it works for you. Like that that thing was under 100 bucks, So I, I can't complain that much. I can complain that it, it broke, obviously. But I mean, if even if I had to buy two for 200 bucks, it's still cheaper than, uh, than some high grade equivalent, right? Um, so we'll see. Magnus Ion's working amazing. I love these inverters. They work really good. I do my laundry through them all the time now. When when we have solar, that is. But, uh, yeah. That's the room. The room's looking real good. It's where my dad stays uh, on the weekends, just for work purposes. Um, got a little bit of trim work and stuff to do there. Uh, got to paint the doors, paint the trim. Paint the drywall up there. But I think it looks really good. I'm gonna put a sweep on the door. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna find something that'll seal the middle off. The back side of all these doors, I'm putting fire rated drywall, getting put on here, and then these gaps over here. Uh, if you don't know, if you can see, but that's getting fire rated foam. So this is going to be technically a sealed off room to my, the inside of my house. Um, 
I'm gonna get rid of anything flammable in there that I can. Then I'm gonna get a, a small fire su suppression system that's made for electronics. What it does, it voids that room of oxygen. And then I'm gonna also go, gonna have alarms like crazy. Like I, I'm gonna have it, so I want this room to be safe. It's already safer with the doors and the fire alarms. Like you got probably one minute. So beep, 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 you get out. Where I want 10, 15 minutes. Beep, beep, beep. It's gonna be smoldering in there. There's gonna be no oxygen, that type deal. Anyways, just my plans of the future. I have uh, a guy that installs these systems and he's been uh, giving me advice on what to do. So yeah, we'll get into that. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Don't know how windy it is, but uh, got a new generator for the off-grid setup. Dual fuel, propane and uh, gasoline, champion uh, brand, 7,000 continuous, 9,000 peak. Um, it's only 6,300 on uh, propane. Electric start, this thing is nice, I like it. Got a good deal on it, had zero hours on it. It was called, said refurbished, but it said it had zero hours, so it was pretty much brand new. Uh, just some little weird stuff on it, like the got some marks and stuff on it, but other than that, got it uh, for a real good deal. And uh, yeah, I sold my uh, smaller generators for this big one, other than I got my really small one, my 800 watt, but uh, just fueled it up, takes a ton of fuel, massive gas tank. And I'm going to be making a plug out of this. So this is the 30 amp plug that it comes with, with two 20 amp plugs. But I believe this will be uh, one side of the 240. That'll be the other side of the 240. So if I put two extension cords into this, run it into my magnet sign, I'm going to test it with a with a, a multimeter. That should be 240. Should be able to get 240 out of that thing, cause these stupid plugs, holy smokes, they're like 200 bucks for this stupid little thing. Well, at least at the store. So I'm gonna buy one online for, uh, I think it was 79. Still expensive, but I mean it's better. Anyways, I have I've started it once in propane. That I know that works. So now I'm testing it on gasoline. So we are going to turn everything on. Uh, this could be loud, so I put it full choke. That's what the Instructions say and then Let's see. It's on on Gas is on Yeah, okay, that is choke right so let's try choke off No, let's try choke on it is very cold out, but I might have to go for a bit because it's the first time it's ever had gas. Let's see here. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, baby. I think it's starting to get something. generator so far. Alright, looks like I got some gasoline on it. Anyways, I'm gonna make that cord. Sorry I haven't been making videos, it's just so nasty out. Like my driveways, everywhere I haven't put sand and salt is just complete ice everywhere. Like here's not so bad because I put sand and salt, but like over there, yo, know, very uh, high chance of falling. Anyways, I'll let this run while I uh, get 
my cord ready and then uh, I'm gonna plug it in and see what kind of charging we can get off this sucker. Oh, he smokes, it's windy out tonight, man. We're supposed to have 100 kilometer gusts again. Sheesh. This time it's nighttime, so I can't even see what's going on. But you can hear things creaking and, yeah. Well, that's winter storm for you. So, ran this thing for another hour while I was uh, hooking up my wires. I all cleverly, cleverly thought, hey, I'll use the live from one plug. Live from another. The ground's broken off of this one, so this is not a good one to use, anyways, because you could flip it and blow something up. But, anyways, I always thought I was being all smart trying to get around the stupid generator uh, uh, plug. I'm gonna have to just go buy that $30, $30 just for, for the freaking generator plug in. What a ripoff. Anyways, I was gonna just use this. See, they got the generator plug on the one side. And they have this, it's supposed to be, you can pull 20 amps, I believe it's 20 amps there and 20 amps there, something like that. And I thought, oh, that's probably coming off the one leg of the generator, and this is probably coming off the other leg. Nope, completely wrong. They are both coming off the same leg. I don't understand why they did that. It would make more sense to take one off one leg, one off the other leg, but anyways, so my plan did not work whatsoever, so... I'm still stuck with only being able to use one plug, which is essentially, I can pull, well I can pull 2500 watts out of one one of these receptacles max, which I will be using, I got a, a smaller extension cord, this one, and a bigger extension cord, this one, I think I'll be using this one, even though it's missing the ground, I don't know, maybe I won't, maybe I'll just stick with this one, this one's, uh, this one is 12 gauge, this one is 10 gauge, so I'd rather use this one but the stupid end, man. It's a problem with these stupid cords. Oh well. Well, I had some fun playing around. Oh, I'll show you inside the battery room in a second. Let's go through my messy garage. Man, this garage is so small. I had a two-car garage, now I got this tiny little thing and I'm not complaining, I have a garage. Some people don't have a garage. It's just I got too much crap. Drywall. Anyways, hopefully we can make this bigger eventually. All right, so we're in the battery room with the new doors, and I was doing my wiring and stuff on the inside, and yeah, we've made that times two today. Let's see if that'll focus. Come on, there we go. So, it's around 11 kilowatts we've made today. I've got a new BMS, so yeah, I'll show you guys that. You'll probably want a video on this. This is a 300 amp BMS. I think it was about 100 bucks shipped. It's quite a nice little BMS. So it goes from 8S all the way to 32S. Uh, Frank Z might be very interested in this for his system. That's why I decided to purchase it and try it out. 300 amp, I should be able to do a whole system. Um, especially a 32, 32S, 120 volts at 300 amps. I don't think you'll be pulling much more power than that. They got some pre-soldered ends on it. You can always unsolder them and solder your own ends. Um, comes with all your BMS wire so you can customize going from 8S to 32S. Got a nice little screen. It's also Bluetooth. Uh, I believe it transmits from this thing. It's Bluetooth. Anyways, this is, I bought this from uh, Ali, or yeah, AliExpress. And I'll be uh, testing this out for you guys. I might be using this on all these packs. I might be taking this pack off, putting this together using that on these and then incorporating it into my system and if I like it come on focus if I like it this might take over all of these eventually we'll see if I can use one or two of these for my entire system it's 300 amps like I don't even have breakered for 300 amps I got 175 and a 250 so anyways thanks for watching all right so this is with a 4,000 watt load, 
it's not a quad generator. It's not something you'd want in a subdivision. That's for sure. Well, if you could avoid it. When the power's out, you're kind of allowed to do whatever. But at least in most places. But this is pretty loud. Pretty powerful though. Like at 4,000 watts, it's not even showing signs of load. So that's pretty awesome. I'm about to shut it off though. And that's that. I like these covers. They're really nice. And I like that it comes with this plug. That's pretty cool. The G GFCI plugs here. This is... I can't remember. Is this a, No, this is a non-GFCI right here. Uh, neutrals bonded to frame. That's kind of nice. Oh, you can't see nothing here. Let's see if we can focus here. Nice. All right. They click in real nice. These uh, waterproof covers or water resistant covers. But uh, shut that off. I'm actually going to start this again after the video and run it till this runs out of fuel. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Everything's coming along quite nicely. Nasty weather. Who knows if we'll lose power or not? But at least now. Even if my battery bank is getting low, we got a nice big generator to, to run things because there's two months of the year, uh, December and January, when I cannot be off-grid, at least uh, not continuous. It's more like every other day I can be off-grid. February, I can be off-grid most of the time. Uh, March, we'll see about March. Uh, depends how much cloudy days we have, but we should be able to start to stay off-grid again. By off-grid, I mean, I turned the breaker off to the electrical company and I turned my stuff on, which saves me a bunch of money. Uh, my, they lowered my minimum um, delivery charge from 100 bucks a month to 50 bucks a month, which is awesome, which is still ridiculous that it, I have to pay 50 bucks a month just to be hooked up to the grid. But yeah, it, it's the grid is a nice backup. That's just so I don't have to run this generator all the time. But uh, I want the generator just in case. If I ever uh, decide that I won't use it for a long period of time, I'll empty the gas completely, empty the, the carb, and then only use it on propane. But one thing I don't like about propane is propane does not last near as long. That gas tank will last way longer than even a 30-pound uh, tank of propane. So, anyways, thanks for watching. We've got a nice sunny day again. Got 2300 watts coming in here. Got 2800 watts coming in here. Wow, we. This will flip soon. This one's making more right now, but soon this one will be making more once the sun gets up a little higher. That's awesome. Tons of power coming in. We're using the Magna sign right now. Not a whole lot of load on the house. In the morning, we're not really doing anything. Reliable still doing great. This is the one where I repair the input board and the output board uh, Reliable sent me uh, for free. And j even though it's repaired, it seems to be working perfectly fine. I've put probably oh, a few hundred hours on this at least, just testing. Um, and I test through this transformer. Everything's been working great. So, yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys.